What is going on guys, it's Eagleman here and today I'm going to be showing you guys a few cards that I'm going to be selling through ComC. I'm just trying to downsize my collection and these are a few cards that are actually not baseball cards. I know my channel is mostly baseball but these are a couple of hockey, basketball and football cards that I'm just trying to get rid of so I'm putting them up on ComC and I figured I'd show you guys what I'm trying to sell and just kind of give you guys my thought process to maybe inspire you to start going through your collection as well. So I have about 103 cards total here. Uh, all cards that I'm going to be sending off to ComC. It's my first time sending cards to ComC, so it's kind of a good experience. But here's what we got here. I'm going to start things off. A couple hockey cards here. Manon Rameau. I don't really know too much about her, but I guess she was a female hockey player, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I got two cards, though. This is actually a Super Bowl promo card, so kind of unique. Um, got a Wayne, or excuse me, a Sidney Crosby mini from Goodwin Champions. Not that, not that super cool, I guess, but. Uh, it is Sidney Crosby, and it's pretty cool. Here's a going to switch into basketball. Luka Doncic, Goodwin Champions. It's just Luka, so that's pretty cool. Here's the USA Olympic team. This is from 1992. Kind of unique. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool card. Here's a Ray Allen Class One from Top's Gold Label, 2001, I believe, or 2000. Still a pretty cool card. Uh, again, I, I gotta preface this. I don't know basketball very well, like at all. Obviously, I know the big names. Um, I know football pretty well, but. Baseball is my, more of my thing, so that's why I'm trying to get rid of these. Here's a Dennis Rodman. This is some parallel insert. It's shiny, so it's cool. Here's a couple Shaquille O'Neal rookies. Um, they're not. Su most of these cards are, are not super valuable. There's a couple cards in here that are, that are up there, but for the most part, they aren't. Here's another Shaquille O'Neal insert. A um, couple more Shaquilles. It's pretty cool. I love the the season leaders. Or I just love cards that feature multiple good good players. Like there's Matumbo, uh, Shaq, Tim Duncan. Uh, switching over to Michael Jordan here is the Goodwin Champions. Um, collector's Choice. Here's a really good one. Here's an NBA Hoops. Michael Jordan got two of these. I'll be getting rid of. Uh, kind of a cool one. It's more it's more of the, like I guess the higher end, quote unquote higher end the Michael Jordan cards. I'll be getting rid of here. You can see the various Michael Jordan cards I have here. There's an Olympic team. Uh, this one was really cool. So I got two of these 1992 Topps Archives. This is his first Topps arc. This is, excuse me, this is his first Topps card uh, when Topps started making basketball cards. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I, did, I posted a video where I found these cards in a binder that I bought. It was someone's old collection. So a pretty cool acquisition of cards, and, and these cards happen to be in it. So um, I'm not a su super huge basketball or Michael Jordan fan, so I'd be happy to get rid of those to an owner that's, you know, would enjoy them more or, or kind of respect the cards more. So. Couple more LeBron cards, or excuse me, Michael Jordan in here. Switching over to LeBron here. Uh, get coming up on football for all you football geeks out there. Here we go, LeBron James, Goodwin Champions. Uh, a couple Goodwin Champions cards here and there. Uh, I bought this card at the flea market for a dollar. <laughs> I just thought it was cool. Uh, me being a Cleveland sports fan, you got to have some LeBron card in your collection. But deciding to get rid of it, I mean, I bought it for a dollar, so I think I can resell it for higher than a dollar. I'm not really much of a profit guy when it comes to the hobby. I'm all about collecting and stuff, so I'm more of a, uh, as you guys know, a, a big Bob Feller, big Cleveland Indians, or excuse me, Cleveland Guardians, but I guess more vintage Cleveland Indians stuff, so that's what I'm really into nowadays, and so just getting rid of the, the football and basketball stuff is it's kind of my priority right now, just to make space, maybe have a few extra cash I can spend on some more cards, so here's a couple of Kobe cards from 2000, uh, here's a Dr. J, this one's kind of beat up, so I don't really know if I'll send this one in. But still a really cool card. There's a Bill Lambeer, uh, Al Thornton rookie. Uh, just a couple basketball cards. Here's Kevin Durant, I numbered out of 149. There's a John Morant. Like some of these names I haven't really heard of, but I mean, the more modern stuff like John Morant. I don't even know who Cam Reddish is, but this is a rookie card and it's a silver prism, so I'm sure it'll sell for something. Now we're switching over to football. Um, really switching gears here in terms of the genre. But here we go with Peyton Manning. A couple Manning cards here. There's a Dan Marino from the uh, 2000 Pacific Crown. This is such a really cool set. Like the, the die cut. That was like the, the peak of die cuts. So it's a really cool set. It's of Dan Marino. Joe Montana this is a reprint. So please don't think it's actually real. <laughs> 2001 Topps Archives. This is not a pre reprint, however. This is a Ronnie Lott. Really cool card there. Uh, a couple Aaron Rodgers cards here. Ben Roethlisberger. I'm not a big fan of Big Ben being a Browns fan. So. Happy to give those away. This one's really cool. This was like, I started collecting in 2005, and the first few packs I bought as a kid were the 2005 Bazooka packs. So, this card was probably one of my first few uh, collectible trading cards that I had ever uh, acquired. So, really cool, kind of nostalgic, but it's it's Ben Roethlisberger, so I'll get rid of it. Um, 
I was happy to see a bunch of Tom Brady cards in my collection. So this is pretty cool. There's a Tom Brady Turkey Red. I guess the Brady's are coming up uh, later on, but uh, you guys will see a bunch of Tom Brady cards. And here's an OJ Simpson, a couple Franco Harris, Jack Lambert. So a couple vintage cards showing up. Here's a Marshawn Lynch rookie card, 2007 tops. Here's all the Brady cards I was talking about. Um, just a couple Brady base cards for Stadium Club. Tom Brady Tribute, 2007, 2016. Um, again, I started collecting in 2005, so this is a 2005 tops total. This is probably one of the first few cards I, I pulled as a kid. This is the silver border parallel of Tom Brady, and just looks really cool with the Patriots uh, uniform. So that's a neat card. Uh, I'd be happy to get rid of it, though, because, again, I don't collect football anymore. Um, yeah, this is numbered out of 90, 999, so a couple serial number cards. Here's a Sports Illustrated Walter Payton. A couple more authentic Walter Paytons here from Vintage. This is this 85? Uh, 84. Yeah, 84 tops Walter Payton. Antonio Freeman, numbered out of 1500. Charles Garner out of 330. Isaiah Frey, numbered out of 100. Herschel Walker, Joe Namath, Darrell Rebus, no fly zone, red parallel. So uh, you guys are probably getting the, the gist here of what I'm trying to get rid of. Some, I guess, lower end, excuse me, higher end, lower end cards. Uh, like, they're not super valuable. Um, but they do have some value, and they'll sell for like a buck or two. Uh, Rod Woodson, Dan Marino, 94 finest cards. There's a Joe Burrow rookie. Uh, a couple autographs here. The, all the autographs I have in here are not of big names. Uh, there's a Cam Newton, Gridard and Keenan. This is numbered out of 99, so kind of a lower numbered Cam Newton. It's kind of cool. Chris Jones, he's a beast, actually. This is numbered out of 20, so really low numbered Chris Jones, and this guy is, is insane. I know like a lot of the, the defensive linemen or offensive linemen, they don't get a lot of talk. Just because you don't really see them making big plays. But Chris Jones is a, is a dog. He's a dog on the line. Kyler Murray rookie card. Kareem Hunt rookie card parallel. Like That's a really cool card. Uh, I pulled a lot of these cards. I pulled a lot of these cards from the, uh, the mystery packs that someone sent me. They had a lot of basketball and football in them. So a lot of these cards you're seeing right now are from those packs. Which, which had a little bit higher end cards in them. Which is cool. Uh, we just got to get rid of them. So there's a Michael Irvin rookie. There's a Willie Wood. This is from 65, 67. Obviously in really rough shape, so I'm going to have to add a note to that once it gets scanned in. Uh, there's a Ray Lewis from uh, Gridiron Kings. It's numbered out of 100. Bo Scafey, not really a big name, but it's a black parallel numbered out of 54. Uh, a couple more autographs, nothing big. Uh, there's a Kenny Britt numbered out of 99. Another autograph. There's a John L.A. rookie reprint. So again, just a reprint. Barry Sanders, that's his obviously of his college playing days, uh, but it's not... Uh, it was made in 1991, so it's not like an actual rookie card. It's just like a reprint of his playing days. But uh, there's a Deshaun Watson rookie, Darren Woodson, Carson Wentz rookie from Donruss. That's pretty cool. And we're getting to some patch cards here. We're coming down to the end of it. Here's a Ben Watson patch. Pretty cool. And then here's a Juju Smith-Schuster rookie threads from Optic. Uh, this also came in the mystery pack as well as this Chad Johnson here. And then this one's kind of an oddball one. Um, this is like, it's not even of a player. It's just like a random uh, American heroism from like World War II. It's like a patch of World War II captain's uniform. Just a really weird card. Uh, very niche. It's just not like a baseball card at all, but kind of cool. It really, really unique. And, and I'm able to list it on Comp C, so I'll throw it in there. And then the only baseball cards, I decided to like stay away from putting baseball cards into Comp C as of right now. Um, because I want to like actually sift through my collection and find some really good baseball cards to submit. And I don't want to be dumping them into Comp C just yet because it's still my first time using Comp C. So I just want to like, I guess, test the waters with the cards I have over here, basketball, football, hockey, and whatnot. Uh, but I do, I did find these two Terry Jeter cards. It says rookie class from them. They're from Collector's Choice from 94, excuse me, 95. So a really young Jeter uh, during the Junk Wax era. So probably not worth too much, but uh I, I saw them sitting on the side. I'm like, you know what? I'll throw it in just for the heck of it. So that's all the cards I'm submitting to Com C. Obviously nothing too high end, but I just wanted to share with y'all some of the cards I decided to pick out and uh, decided to sell. Kind of my logic behind them. Maybe to inspire you guys to go through your collection and I guess start downsizing it and start selling it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, maybe he inspired you. But uh, if you guys did enjoy it, please like and subscribe for more of my baseball card collection showcases. And I will see you guys next time.